All right, let's make sure I can see everyone. Good, so we're going to do a barefoot workout, upper body core today. Good, so we're gonna warm up the upper body. You're going to reach down, touch those toes, walk yourself out to a plank. We're just gonna warm up the core, tap those knees down. Hold yourself into a nice plank. Right hand touches left shoulder. Left hand touches right. Walking back, touch those toes. Walk forward again. So when you're in this plank, I want to see a nice bracing through the core. You're going to tap those knees down. Back up to plank. Right hand touches left, left to right. Welcome, Steven. Walk back, touch those toes. Do it again. Walk forward. Good. Tap those knees. Core engaged. Right hand touches left, left to right. Walk back. So when you're doing your right hand touching left, you want to make sure those hips are not sw swiveling. So engage that core. Good. Walk it back. Slowly round yourself up. Good. Standing tall, I want you to bend those knees, hinge forward, flat back, pull that belly button in, and you're going to do some flies with your shoulders. This is no weight, just to warm it up. Squeeze shoulder blades back and together. Tuck that chin, bend those knees, Pull that belly button into your spine. Good, breathing through this movement. You got it. Amazing, standing tall, nice big arm circles, all the way back. I'm gonna try to make everyone a little bigger for me. Good, and forward. Amazing, touch those toes again, activate that core. Hinge forward, walk out to your plank. Tap those knees down twice this time. Right hand touches left, left hand touches right. Walk yourself back. So always the option here guys, to go right to the knees for that plank. Tap those knees twice if you can. Pull that belly button to your spine, walk back. Find your breath and then find a pace you can stick with if you need to speed it up a little bit. Good, activate that core. Two more here. Find your breath. Good, tap, tap. Right to left, left to right. Last one here. Walk it out. Tap those knees. Right to left, left to right. Amazing. Making your way up nice and slowly. Good. Final part of the warm up. Hinge forward, flat back. Squeeze shoulder blades back and together. So, we're only going to do here, then we're going to add in a little bit of a bonus to warm up those shoulders a little bit more. In five, four, we're going to add a pulse here, meaning we're going to keep on the upper half in two and one. So, you're going to hold it here for 10, nine, eight, seven. Six, breathing for five, four, three, two, one. Amazing, nice arm circles. Final one, tuck that chin. Amazing, other direction going forward. So we're gonna do a combination today of upper body and core. So we're gonna go in between both, good? So starting out with some hand weights. Whatever hand weights you have, either fives, tens, twelves, 15s, whatever you've got. We're gonna start with a bicep curl press overhead. Good? So feet shoulder width apart, grounding down on all four corners of your feet, pulling that belly button to your spine, slight bounce in those knees. You're gonna curl, arms come up. So noticing when I'm doing a curl, I'm doing a hammer curl to a full curl, palms come forward to face you down, nice and controlled. Good? What I want to see throughout this entire movement is no movement in the body. Good? Curl, rotate, back down, curl. Good? Meaning you're not swinging the body as you're coming through. Right? So really bracing through the core. That fortress which is your stabilizing foundation of the body. And connect to your breath. Good? Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Your breath is vitally important for your strength, for your mind-body connection. Stay with me, nice and controlled. Good. 
Hold on. You've got three more here for three. Nice. You got it, Dad. Two. Yes. Last one. One. Amazing. Good. Putting it down, please. So option to be on your knees or on your hands. We're going right into plank. Good. From plank position, pull that belly button into your spine. Right knee to left elbow, left to right. So what I want to see here is making your, your hip, making sure your hips are not dropping. You want to bring that knee towards that elbow, activating those obliques, activating that core. Good. Find your breath here. Come back to me, Stephen. For five. Yes. Four. Good. Three. Two. One and one. Amazing. On to your elbows. Don't go far. Staying here. Good. Finding your breath. Straightening those legs. Activate those glutes. Pull that belly button to your spine. Pressing in between those shoulder blades. So not collapsing down. Pressing. Tap those knees down for one. Straighten them. Pull that belly button in. Tap down for two. Good. Hold it here. Three. If this is too much in the lower back, go to your knees and hold plank. Four. Find your breath. Five. You should not feel this in the back. Six. Good. Tap down those knees for seven. Three more here for three. Pull it in. Two. One. Amazing. Make your way up. Woo. Very good. Grab those hand weights again. Grab those tens. So you may notice that your shoulders are going to get exponentially tired. Good? So there is a method to this madness. Right? You'll notice because we were on our hands, holding ourselves up in that plank, your shoulders may get more tired quickly. Curl. Palms facing me, down control, hammer on the way down. Curl. Don't swing the body. Good. Find your breath. Nice. Nice path. I see you guys. Good, Bettina. Pull that belly button in. Yes. Nice, Allison. Good. You got it. Nice, Peter. Good. We've got six more here. Take your time. Pull. Press, controlled, down, for five. Yes, good, four. I know I'm here with you, three. Breathe through it. Two more. Really good, everyone. Last one. Yes, put it down. Put it down. Back into your plank position. Right knee to left elbow, left to right. Pull that core nice and tight. Belly button to spine. Good, let's go right to left, left to right. I want you to bring that knee as close to that tricep as possible. Even if you need to pivot forward on that upper body, try to get it close. Find your breath for five, four, Hold on, I know. Three, my shoulders are feeling it. Two, one and one. Amazing, on your elbows please. Good, stack those shoulders on top of those elbows. Good, tap those knees down for one. Straighten those legs. Activate those quads and those glutes. For seven, tap down. Six, for five. Hold on, four. You got it. Three, two, one. Amazing. Bringing yourself all the way up. Good. Options, take a quick sip here if you would like. Good. Then we're going to go into a rhomboid row. So needing two separate weights here if you have either a 15, 12 pound, 15 pound, a little bit heavier than what you had. Good. We're going to do a single arm row. You're going to hinge forward, squeezing shoulder blades back and together. 
so we're gonna work on tempo here. You're gonna go up for one, down for three, two, one. Good? Core nice and tight in this position. If you prefer, you can put your hand on a chair. I'm going to lean right on myself. Good, up for one, down for three, two, one. Squeeze up for one. So what I wanna see here is no momentum. You're not rolling it like this. You're not changing the angle of that shoulder or to torso. You're pulling that elbow straight up, bringing that weight to your lower rib, down controlled, finding your breath. We're only doing 10 a side to start. Good, nice, eight, down slow. Up for one, down for three, two, one. Up for one, good, three, two, one. Amazing, other side, good. Core nice and tight, nice wide stance. You can lean on that leg, good. Pull that belly button in, up for one, three, two, one. Very good, up for one, three, two, one. Very good, up for one. Yes, Katina, you got it. Pull that belly button in. You should not feel this in the spine at all in the lower back. Yes. Hold on. For five, two, one. Good. Four. Down, control, please. Steven, a little slower. Three. Breathing. Nice, Peter. Two. Good, Paulina. Last one. Amazing. Put it down. Good. So, two options here. Good. We're going to be doing. I don't know what you call these. A launch push-up. So starting in this position, almost like a child's pose, you're gonna hop forward, push up. Push yourself right down. If you can keep those knees hovered off the ground, that is what I'd like. But always option to go down to your knees for that push-up. Coming back, bracing through the core into that push-up, good? We're gonna do a total of 10. Warning, last week when we did these, I don't know if you guys remember, my triceps were killing me. So let's go, ready? For 10, all the way forward, breathing. Nine, good, eight. So sit back on those heels as you come back. Seven, core tight, nice. Six, hold on, five, good. Four, hold on, three, two, one. One. Woo. Very good. Slipping over, please. Grabbing one weight. We're gonna do a V-sit. So, two options. Heels grounding down, good. Especially if you find your hip flexors are always engaged, good. Or if it bothers your lower back, or you're gonna float those legs up. You're gonna rotate from one side to the other, good. So what I wanna see is that you can stabilize those legs. Minimize the swinging. Amazing, find your breath. Again, if this bothers your lower back, drop those heels. Very good. Hold on, for nine. Good, lean back a little more, eight. Good, seven, very good everyone, hold on, for six. For five. Good, we're gonna add a bonus here, four. Three, two, one, amazing, keep that weight on your back. Legs up, option legs up or options leg down, whatever it is, with or without weight. Good, using your feet as reference points, I want you to move that weight, pressing it up. Only upper shoulders, right? So this is not coming up all the way. Hitting those upper abs, nice and controlled, find your breath. Good, for 10, take your time, nine, Keep that neck neutral, uh, tuck the chin for seven, six, yes, for five, four, three, two, amazing, up you get, good, grab that weight, we're going right back into our rhomboid rows, good, I'm going to start on the opposite side this time, good, Right by our body, up for one, down for three. Good, core nice and tight, pull that belly, proud chest. Good, squeeze up for one, down for three, two, one. We're going for 15 this time. We're adding in five, I know, but you can do it, right? Again, don't roll that shoulder, squeeze shoulder weight back and together. Pull that belly button to your spine, down controlled, find your breath for nine, two, one. 
one, amazing. Eight, two, one, pull that belly button. Seven, two, one, really good everyone. Six, hold on for five. Good, four, nice work. Three, two, down slow, last one, up. Amazing, other side. Brace through that core, flat back, proud chest. Good, up, down control. Good, all the way up, down control, good. You got it, flat back guys. If you need to take a little bit more of a step back to get yourself nice and flat, do that. You got it, for 10, two, one, nice. You got it, don't roll that shoulder. And this will also give you a gauge for next time if you can go heavier, right? You want it to challenge you. Five, two, one, for four, two, one, three. Find your breath, good, core tight, two, one. Amazing, good. 12 launch push-ups at your own pace, good. Find your nice core activation. Good, sit back on those heels. Pop forward, push up. Find your pace, find your breath, take your time. Don't rush through it, don't half-ass it. I wanna see if possible, chest to ground. Okay, everyone, let's go. Finish your 12, keep your count. You got it, I'm doing it with you. Hold on everyone for five. I've got five, how about you? Four, yes, three, two, one. Amazing. Nice, Deb. When you're ready, V sit please with that weight. I will give you water break after this. Nice, Allison. Really great, everyone. Good, floating those legs up, rotate side to side. Making you sure you're on a 45 degree angle leaning back. Making sure this is not dumping into your lower back. Making sure you activate that breath. Rotating the torso, this is not just moving the weight from side to side. You're actually whoo, rotating those shoulders to try to align with that weight for seven. Hold on. Six, very good. Nice Bettina for five. Four, hold on, three. Don't go far, two. Nice Steven, one and one. On your back, legs up. Good, float it up for one. We're gonna do 20 this time. Pressing the small of the back into the mat for 10. Sorry, 15 left. Good, lift high, tuck that chin. If you need to do it without the weight so you can support the neck, then do that. Eight, breathing, seven, hold on, for five, yes, four, three, two, one. Amazing. Taking a quick, quick step, everyone. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds here to move on. Good. So we're going to start out in a plank position. Good. So you don't want to go too heavy because we're going to do two movements together. Three options. Tabletop, knees down. You're in a row without moving that body. Tricep extension, down, back to center. Good. Option two, floating those legs up. Knees just about two inches off the ground. Stabilizing in the core, row, tricep, back down. Option three, planking, feet shoulder width apart, core tight, row, tricep extension, back to center. 
keep it slow. I want it to really activate that core and challenge you, and I want to get a full row tricep extension, try to straighten that arm before you bend and come back down. Good? We're going to go alternating sides. Good? The goal is eight per side, but if you can only get to five, to six, whatever it is, that's amazing. I want to see nice and controlled in that core, in that movement. Good? And modify if you need to. If it's too much on the shoulders to put all that weight from your feet, go to your knees. Float the knee up, right? Challenge yourself within your limits. Ready? Find your breath, find your position, feet shoulder width apart, knee shoulder width apart, row, one side, control. So I don't want to see that swivel in those hips, right? So this is as much a core activated exercise as it is anything else. Take your time. Brace. I'm going to watch a couple of you. Nice, Deb. Good. Make sure you're not dumping into the lower back. Nice, Bettina. Yes, Allison, take your time. Nice, Steven, yes. Yes, Paulina, good. Hold on. Finish your eight or five or six or seven, whatever it is. If you need one breath break, come back to me. Nice. Yes. I've got two more, how about you? Two. One and one. One, amazing, and one, one, Woo. good, stand it up, please, very, very good, really good, stand it up, whoa, so being mindful of that back, hinging forward like you're coming into a deadlift, flat back, palms facing forward, good, elbows are coming out to the side, good, so it's gonna come out like this. It's gonna feel a little awkward because we're doing palms forward, but we're just starting here. Good? So really brace through that core. You don't wanna feel this in the lower back. Amazing. Two more here. One, good. Palms face each other for seven. Same thing, elbows come to the side for five. Neck neutral, don't crunch through the shoulders. Three, two, one, good, palms facing you. Same thing, elbows out for seven. Core tight. Six, five, four, hold on. Three, two, one, amazing, put it down. Good, standing tall, palms facing you. So you're gonna start at a 45 degree angle and you're gonna come up to here. So it's gonna look like this. Squeeze, when you come up top, Bruce Lee connection. So squeeze your legs back in together. Good? With intention. Don't crunch those shoulders up to your ear. I want it to be here. So much so that if I came by and gave you a high five, there would be no movement. Squeeze. Down to here. Squeeze. Tuck that chin. I want you to feel those shoulders, that upper back getting fatigued. For six. Five. Hold on, four, three, two, one, amazing. On your elbows, we're going to be doing obliques. So option from the knees, from the toes, good? When you're here, you're gonna be dropping hips to ground. Even if you're on your knees, you can do this. Making sure you're not breaking at the waist, dumping into the back, good, let's go. So you almost want to rotate on the side of your feet if you can. Bring that hip as close to the ground as possible. You should not feel this in the lower back at all. So if you do, modify, go to the knees. But this is an oblique heavy exercise, meaning you're going to feel it in the side of those abs as a stability here. Find your breath for seven. Hold on. Six. Good job, everyone, for five. Four. Yes. Three. Uh, two, one and one, one and one, flip over, don't get mad, we're going to do another core activation, on your back, fingertips supporting the head, good, opposite elbow to opposite knee, good, bicycle, but nice and slow, we're going to hold it here for two, one, two, one, good, keep going, 
nice and controlled, lifting that elbow as close to the knee as possible. I want you to make every single one count, meaning feel that contraction, lift as close as you can. Good. The difference between active involvement and passive, right? I know you can swing these legs around and your arms around, but I want you to make every single one count. You might as well get the best bang for your buck while you're here for three, breathing. Two, oh my God. Two, one and one. One and one. Amazing. Up you get, flip it over please, grabbing that weight again. So we're going back into our plank row tricep extension, alternating sides. Option, right, to go to your knees, whatever works best for your body, okay? If you're saying to me, Catherine, I can't do this on my hands, you can always row, kick back, standing up. Good? Six to 10 per side. Nice, Deb, good. Core active, I don't wanna see those hips swiveling. Really pull it in at the core. Find your breath, don't hold it. It's a natural inclination to almost hold your breath, but I want you to find your breath through it. Good, even though I talk a lot, I am always connecting to my breath through these movements because that's where the power is. And it's very important, the breath to keep that core active without collapsing. Oh my God. I'm gonna try to go for 10. I've got about five more aside. How about you? Stick with what you can. Challenge yourself just past that threshold. Oh my goodness. Four. Keep that core tight. Engage those glutes. Find your breath. Don't swing that weight. Bend, extend, bend back to center. Right? Don't rush it. Yes, it's hard for me also. Yes, you can. Hold on. Finish it. I've got one more. Amazing. Woo! Very good, everyone. Stand it up. Grab two of those weights. Good. We're going to stand up. Palms facing me first. Core tight. So hinging, bracing through the core. Proud chest. Good. Palms forward. Elbows come out for seven, six, five. Hold on. Four, three, two, one. Good. Palms together, facing each other. Elbows come wide. Good. Five, four. Don't swing the body. Three. Core tight. Two, one. Oh my God. Palms facing me. Again, seven, sorry, palms facing you. Seven, sorry. Six, you got it. Five, elbows high. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Ready? Shake it out. Pinch forward, same position. Good? Forward to here. Partial. Option to grab a two pounder a three pounder, but I don't want much more, right? This is a small movement, right? Upper back, squeeze with intention. Like you're trying to find that pencil, squeezing in between those shoulder blades. And check in. Is one side able to straighten more than the other? Come back to me. Keep those shoulders away. There you go, four. Good. Three, two, one. Amazing. Good. Come down to the ground with me. Planking on those elbows. Swivel those hips side to side. I want you to feel that oblique activation. If you're like, Captain, this doesn't work for me, go to your knees. If that doesn't work for me, hold plank. Just focus on pulling that belly button through your spine. Good. We're going to do 15 aside, but you can do what works for you. Let's go. Swivel controlled, right? That mind-body connection of getting nice and intentional with the movement is very important. For 10, breathing. Yes, nine. Yes, eight. Hold on. Seven. Six. For five. 
four, three, yes, two, one and one, one and one. Very good, flip over, flip over. Bicycles, we're gonna add a bonus on the end of this. Nice and controlled first. Count of two, one, two, switch sides, one, two. Extend that leg long, the one that's not bringing to the knee. Good. And bring that elbow as close as you can. Lifting that shoulder as high as you can. Getting as close as you can. I want you to find that breath. Good, for 10. Hold on. Nine. Eight. Yes. Seven. Good, six. For five. Four. Take your time. Three. Two, one and one. Good, relax for five seconds. Then we're going to go for a tempo of one and one, back and forth, good? Only 10 aside, ready? For 10, nine. A little faster, but still controlled with intention. Six, for five, hold on. Four, three, we got it. Two, one and one, one and one. Very good, everyone. Take a quick, quick sip. And then we're gonna keep going. We're almost there. How are we doing, good? Amazing, amazing, man. Steven, you okay? <laughs> good. Stand it up when you are ready with those hand weights. Good, so we're going to do alternating bicep curl, but we're going to do it to the side, good? So we're gonna go 45 degree angle out, so a hammer curl, and we're gonna add the bonus in of when one comes down, the other comes up. So I want you to glue those elbows to your side and hammer curl, so don't turn them, keep them, good? Yes, I can see you, Bettina. So don't curl up top, strict hammer, right? So only up and down, yes. Don't swing. Happy hammer, right? So we're not turning up top, guys. We're keeping them this way, yes. Good. So this is gonna hit the bicep a little different than what we were doing before. Hold on. For seven, six. It should kind of suck. For five, four, breathing. Yes, three, I feel it too. Two, one and one, one and one. Oh my goodness. If you can keep those same weights, gonna, we're going to do a shoulder press strict from forward to a tricep extension. Elbows high, above your head, bend, extend, down control. We're only doing 10, good? Down control, elbows close to your ears. I know, it burns me too, for eight. If it's too much, you can always grab something heavier and do this. Good, so always the option, if it's too heavy, for five, core tight, four, keep it tight, I know, three, two, oh my goodness, one and one, keep it tight, one, one, put it down. Good, on your back. So Deb, you can always grab a 15 and do it Right, so it's not as heavy, if you're finding too heavy. Good, hands underneath your backside. Good, you can either bend those knees, tap those heels, press the knees into the chest, or legs straight, press those heels into the ceiling. So through this entire movement, what I want you to focus on is that small of the back glued against the mat, right? Because as you extend your legs out, depending on your strength right now of your core, it might be lifting off the ground. So that is a prime indicator that your core engagement is not here yet, right? So toggle it back, bend those knees, right? Because if you can keep that core active, you're keeping your spine safe, you're keeping that movement on point for four. Hold on, three, two, one. Amazing, arms behind your head, bend those knees. 
So we're gonna double dip here. So you're gonna bring knees to elbow, elbows to knees. So notice how my tailbone is curving off the ground. Notice how my shoulders are lifted. So we're doing lower core, upper core. Let's do it together for 15, squeeze, take your time, 14, again, small of the back on the ground, hold on for 12, lift, 11, keep going, 10, hold on, 9, breathing, 8, yes, 7, 6, you got it, for 5, 4, yes, 3, Two, one, amazing, Woo. up you get. Back to our biceps, alternating, good? Palms always facing forward, one side and the other, good? Find those weights, feet through the cart, good? One side and the other. I don't wanna see that body swinging, hammer curl, so no curl, curl, curl up top. Let's go. Yeah, so palms this way, Kat. Yeah, so it's almost like you're facing them forward, always. Yes, for 10. Nine, I know it's awkward because we're out at a 45 degree angle. Eight, seven, this should burn. Six, I think we're gonna add in a bonus for five. Oh my goodness. Four, three, two, one and one. One and one. Don't put them down yet. Don't put them down. Good? I know. Patina knows what's coming. She's got this smile of like, what is she up to? We're gonna do ten aside if you can. Peter, stand up. Ready? Let's go. For ten. Nine. Don't swing. Eight. Core tight like your fortress. Seven. Six. Five. Oh my goodness, it burns. Four. Breathing. Three. Two, one and one, one and one. Don't get mad, we're gonna do it one more time. Only five aside. If you need to go down and wait, you can go down and wait. If you need to sit this one out, you are welcome to. But if you can, last one, ready? For five, four, hold on, three. Don't swing, two, one and one. <laughs> And one. Oh my goodness. Okay. So option to grab a lighter weight, option to grab one so that you can do for both. We're doing our shoulder press with tricep extension. 10 to 12, your option. Ready? So bring those weights here. Proud chest, don't swing above your head. Bend those elbows, extend before coming down. Good? Yes. Nice, yeah, perfect. Keep those elbows together wherever you are. Good, Kath, I see you. Nice, Peter. Good, keep those elbows together, guys, in your tricep, right? There's a tendency for it to flare. We want it to be all triceps. Core tight, don't flare out those ribs for five. Oh my God. Four, amazing. Three, <laughs> two, I know, me too. Burning me too, one. Good, put one weight down, grab something lighter, don't get mad, we're not done just yet. Good, final exercise for tricep. So starting in this position, keep those ribs tucked, bending, extending, only to 90. Good, oftentimes people like to go all the way down for triceps. It's nice that you have the flexibility, but you don't wanna collapse on that elbow joint, right? Keep those elbows closed as best you can for 10. Pull that belly in, nine. Pull those ribs in, breathe. Seven, elbows in, Peter, not here. For five, yes. Four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Put it down. You can tell your friends tomorrow if you can't leave to them, it's because of me. Not that you're being rude. On your back. Last one, guys. On your back, hands underneath that back side to support. Pressing the small of the back, legs right up, lower controlled, drive those heels up. Only 15 here. Find your breath, make it controlled, make it good. Drive 
those hips up without momentum. Good? For 10. Breathing. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Four, five. Hold on. Four. Three. Two. Last one. One. Amazing. Hands by your ears. Bend those knees. Same principle applies. Lower back glued. Let's go. Knees to elbow, elbow to knees. But focusing on that tailbone getting pulled off the ground and then those shoulders being pulled up also for nine. Breathe it. Eight. Make it count. Seven. We're almost there. Six. For five. Hold on. Four. Three. Two. One. Right into bicycles. Let's go. We're going to finish it for 20 bicycles. I know. My abs are burning too. For 15. Come on. 14. Take one breath break. Come back to me. For 10. Breathe. Nine. Yes. Eight. Seven. Six. Good job. For five. Four. Three. Oh my God. Two. One. Woo! Very good, everyone. Extend those arms above your head as you're lying down. Extend those legs. Opening up that midline. Opening up that chest cavity. Stretching out those abs. Very good. When you're ready, you can make your way up to seated. You can spend as long as you want in this stretch. I'm going to take you through just a couple minutes. Good, so sitting here in a seated position, either cross-legged or not, roll your shoulder blades back and together. Good, and forward. Amazing, arms behind your back, press that chest forward. Tuck that chin. Amazing. Arms to the side. Brace your hand down on the ground. Reaching one arm over, leaning. Opening up that side body, opening up that lat. Good, sitting up straight. Bend that elbow, grab that tricep, stretching it. Very good work today, everyone. Good, other side. Bend one arm, reaching to the other side. Getting a nice opening. Good, sitting up, grabbing that elbow, stretching that tricep. Amazing, reaching those arms forward, pressing those hands away from you, rounding the back. Good, deep breath in, arms all the way up. Leaning to one side again. Good, and then the other. Amazing, give yourselves a hand. Very good job, everyone. Great work today.